Hello everyone, welcome to Alex518. So today we are going to discuss the basic of voltage, current, resistance, and also some power supply trivia questions. Alright, from the image itself, you can directly visualize what is current, voltage, and resistance. The voltage is the one pushing the current. And the resistance is the one limiting the current. And the current is the one flowing across the line. Alright, let's move to the next page. Thank you. From this simple circuit, we have voltage. The blue arrow represents the current. And the yellow bar represents the resistance. Let's say for example, we have voltage source of 10 volts and we have the resistance of 1 ohm. By using the formula V over R, the current flow should be 10 amperes. But for example, you increase the resistance by 2 ohms the current will also reduce down to 5 amperes on the other hand if you reduce the resistance down to 0.5 ohms the current flow will also increase to 20 amperes Therefore, the resistance and current is inversely proportional. The higher resistance will result a lower current flow. And the lower resistance will result a higher current flow. Thank you. Let's move to the next page. Here is the simple calculation of Zener limit resistor. It is very important to calculate the resistor value to avoid overcurrent flow that can damage the Zener. For example, we have a voltage source of 12 volts 5 amperes and we have the Zener voltage rating of 2 volts and the Zener current maximum is 0.3 amperes. So we have to calculate the correct resistor to limit the current flow. By using this formula, voltage source minus Zener voltage rating over Zener maximum current the resistance of the resistor that we are going to use to limit the current is 33 ohms and the power rating we are going to use I squared R will be 3 watts thank you trivia question number one can you use a higher ops power supply to your load for example, you have 10 amps power supply connected to the 5 amps load requirement. Let's switch on. Yes, it will work. And it is a good idea to add a 5 amps fuse as per load requirement for more safety. Thank you. Trivia question number 2. Can you use a higher voltage power supply to your load? For example, you have 15 volts power supply and your load only required 12 volts. Let's switch on. No, there's a very high risk that the power supply 
will electrically overstress the components on the load. Thank you. Trivia question number 3. Can you use a lower amps power supply to your load? For example, you have 5 amps power supply and your load required 10 amperes higher than your power supply. Let's switch on. No, there is a very high risk the power supply will get electrically overstressed or the load won't run at all. Thank you. Trivia question number 4. Can you use a lower voltage power supply to your load? For example, 10 volts power supply connected to a 12 volts load. Let's be sure. No, there is a very high risk that the power supply will get electrically overstressed or the load will not run at all. Thank you. Here is the summary of a power supply and load voltage current trivia question summary. Thank you. Trivia question number 5. Can you connect a multiple power supplies in series? Yes, you can connect the power supplies in series like batteries. For example, in this figure, three power supplies are connected in series. But one power supply, the 12 volts 10 amperes, is connected in reverse. So from this area, you can get 10 volts 8 amperes. And here, you can get 5 volts 3 amperes. But here, you can get a total of 15 volts and 3 amperes must follow the lowest power supply current rating. And also here, you can get negative 12 volts, 10 amperes, because this power supply is connected in reverse. And overall, you can get a 3 volts, 3 amperes. Again, must follow the lowest power supply current rating and the 3 volts is a summation of 10 volts, 5 volts and the negative 12 volts. Thank you. Let's move to the next page. Trivia question number 6. Can you connect multiple power supplies in parallel? In figure A, yes but it is not commonly used. You can connect power supplies in parallel with the same voltage output to generate more current. You must also double check the manufacturer if the power supply model can be connected in parallel. But in figure B, where Two power supplies connected in parallel have different output voltage. No, it is not a good practice to connect power supplies in parallel with different output voltages. It will cause early failures of power supplies or the low. However, when dealing with circuit analysis, it can be used providing there are other circuit elements in between them to comply with Kirchhoff's voltage low. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like and share, and hit the notification bell for my upcoming videos. Once again, thank you, keep safe, 
and goodbye.